friends and followers. Recently, I got this great question by one of my Instagram followers asking me, what are those two things here? It made me smile because these two things are one of many mysterious objects on an Airbus. Uh, 1383, runway takeoff. Okay, let's first talk about the little triangle. I've heard many funny explanations about it. Beyond this point, the fire brigade is allowed to cut open the plane after an unfortunate landing. It's the airplane's balancing point or it's a reference point for the technicians on where to install the seats after a big technical inspection. All great explanations and ideas, but unfortunately all incorrect. Let's take a closer look on where the triangle is fitted. If you stand in the galley and look beyond the triangle, you can see the wing and it indicates the wing's leading edge. And if you walk down a few seat rows and you see another triangle indicating the trailing edge of the wing. The reason therefore is, is that in case there's a problem with the slats or flaps, a flight attendant or one of the pilots would get the best view onto the slats or flaps looking out of the window marked with the little triangle. That's it. Besides the fact it indicates the wing's leading and trailing edge, it could also be used as a guidance onto where to seat the passengers in case there are only a few passengers on board, cause the center of gravity in most planes is on top of the wings. So letting the passengers sit over the wings would cause for a better balance of the plane and would reduce fuel consumption. Ever flown with Ryanair? That's how they place their passengers to save overall fuel consumption. Okay, let's discuss this little thing. It's about one third of the wing away from the wing root and now if you look at the upper part of the wing, the entire surface is very smooth to make it as aerodynamical as possible. So why would Airbus install something onto their wing disturbing the airflow? It must be really important and it very well is. In case of an emergency landing, let's say on water, the flight attendants will want you to evacuate at your nearest exit. And four of those exits are on top of the wings, the so-called overwing exits. Once the door is opened, an escape slide at the rear of the wing will automatically deploy, which will you will slide down and distance yourself from the aircraft. Now, once you're at the door and you set foot onto the wing, you are most likely going to fall because the surface will be wet and very slippery. Therefore, Airbus has installed escape ropes. So after opening the door, one end of the rope is securely fastened in the door frame and the other end needs to be attached to this little hook. Another rope is hooked up in the other hole leading towards the slide. So this little piece of metal was only installed so that the escape rope can be attached giving you a safer stand on the slippery surface on top of the wing. If you find another questionable thing in an Airbus or any other plane, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer your question and I'm really looking forward to see or read what else you might have found. I hope you've enjoyed this little video solving an Airbus myth. <laughs> please share this video with your friends on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe my channel for further upcoming videos. See you next time. Farewell, your Captain Joe. Now you may ask, why doesn't an Airbus A321 have hooks like that? If you look at the safety card of the A321, you will see there aren't any overwing exits, only doors which have their own slide.